Now we're going to learn some new notes by adding our left hand. So there's some things you need to know. Your left hand's fingers have, have names. Pointer finger, that's number one. Number two, number three, number four, and this is called your thumb. So one, two, three, four, thumb. Okay? Now you're going to make a C with your hand, kind of like you're holding a can of soda. And your thumb is going to go behind the neck of the bass. It's not going to squeeze, it's just going to hang out there in between these two tapes. Like if you split them in half, that's where your thumb's going to go. Then, and we're going to do this on the D string, finger number one is going to go on the tape, the one that lines up with your eyebrow, finger number one. Two and three hang out together in the middle. Four goes on the next tape. Now you don't want your elbow down like this. You want to have your elbow up so that you can keep that C, keep everything nice and balanced. This is called having a chicken wing. Your left arm is up, you have a C in your hand, your thumb is behind the neck, and your fingers are on the tapes. One, two, and three in the middle, four. Now, once you do that, you can kind of pull the string backwards. You're not squeezing with your thumb, you're pulling backwards. And if you pluck with four fingers on the D string, it should sound like this. Then you can pick all the other fingers up, pluck with one finger. Pick up that finger, and you're back to D. Okay, now, if you think you have that, we're going to add one more note. We're going to add the G string. So what we're going to do is shake out our hand, get it nice and relaxed. Remember your chicken wing and your C. Get your thumb set. One, two, three, four. We're going to go G with zero fingers on the G string. Then you're going to put all four fingers down on the D string. Pick them all up except for number one. And then zero fingers. Let's do that again. Ready? Get your fingers close by. You got your chicken wing. And four, one, zero. Now, we just learned some new notes. This is G. We knew that from before, from the ant song. This is D. We knew that from the ant song. The one with four fingers, that's called F sharp. The one with one finger, that's called E. So what we were playing is G. F sharp, E, and D. Zero fingers is G. Four fingers on the D string is F sharp. One finger on the D string is E. Zero fingers on the D string, D. Always with our thumb in the back and the chicken wing up. Okay, with that, you can keep going in the book and you can start learning pages six and seven, which use the notes G, F sharp, and E.